you, Ken Corla, and uh, I'm happy just to confirm for the Taoiseach that the health policy is very much on our website. So, no, it didn't. It was never. And really, I mean, if this is what we're reduced to, to the Taoiseach uh, scouring people's websites and playing to the gallery, the television audience at home, it's rather. Um, so, I raised with you yesterday the scandalous situation of scoliosis and kids with scoliosis and spina bifida waiting for their operations. Um, you made some kind of a promise, and I want to get clarity on it. Uh, parents are watching this very carefully. They're not interested in smart aleck uh, responses from anybody. Um, so can, can I ask you what resources you're putting in place to meet the four-month target that you've committed to again? Can you give me a date for the restart of the scheme for children to travel abroad for surgeries faster? And can you also clarify for me when you will meet the parents' demand for a second opinion for their children, independent you, of CHI. Thank you, Deputy please. Well, thanks very much, and I appreciate your pledge not to engage in smart aleck comments. Um, in relation to this, in relation to this Im important issue, I am very happy to meet the families, Deputy MacDonald. I'm, that's the least I can do. Uh, I will arrange to do that. I can't give you a date right now, but I will do it in the next couple of weeks. I'm very happy to do that. And in fact, I think I would benefit from doing that. So I'm very happy to do that. Um, in relation to the treatment abroad scheme, the Minister for Health advised me yesterday uh, that Mr. Moore, who I believe is the new clinical lead in this area, is working on a number of options in relation to treatment abroad. I'm not going to mislead parents today. I don't know the answer in terms of that time frame, but I will find it for you and I will respond to you uh, in writing in relation, in, in relation to it. There has been very significant uh, additional resources gone in already, as you know, to the scoliosis and spina bifida waiting list action plans. I believe 19 million in current capital funding. The Minister for Health also briefed me yesterday that Mr. Moore has brought forward to him in the last few weeks, proposals for additional extra staff uh, and additional extra, I think, consultants as well, my note tells me. Deputy but allow me right to the deputy on both sides. Deputy Patrick. 